And now, the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eye. The old things have passed away. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. And so, we commend Arthur Leonard Jefferson to the earth. Robert, your grandfather was a good man. Now, I know if he could be with us now, he would tell us that he, he's in a much better place. There's, there's no need to fret about him. Like hell, if he was here right now, he would say, believe that man be talking, curse you for the slummy frogs villain that you are. I'm so sorry, Father. He's taken the captain's death very hard. It's all right. We, we, we all handle grief in our own way. It's going to be all right. I've never heard anything like it. Poor Father Neil. He looked absolutely dumbfounded. I know, honey. But we both knew Dad's death was really going to be hard on Robbie. They were very close. Too close. That old man corrupted him. That's enough, Faye. Oh, no, it's not. I didn't spend all that money to send my son to the best boarding school in the state to hear him insult people in public like that. Perhaps he needed something more than an expensive education. Did you ever think of that? Maybe perhaps he needs something called I don't know. Parents. He has parents. And as his parents, it's our job to give him the best that we can. Don't you want the best for your son? Of course I do. I don't think this is it. Look, Faye. My dad just died. I'm not in a good place. I can't go through this with you again right now, okay? All right. Just get us to the old man's house before your sister makes off with the silver. Oh, great. Sharon and Terry are here. That means the paintings are gone. Hey, you coming in, sport? I've got to go stop your mom from killing your Aunt Sharon. It's going to be okay, son. I think we'll put the skip in the slips this winter, young Robbie. She could use some work on her keel, and her hull could benefit from a good scrape and repaint. Yep, we'll have her all careened, caught, and repainted for the summer holidays. Sounds awesome. And it's settled. Sun's over the yard, time for a wet. What do you reckon, Rob? What do you reckon, Rob? Mom did say I look just like the old man. This will got you in trouble. Move! Come on, Robbie, look here. That is the sea of tranquility. Beyond that, the great ranges. They say a man can get lost in those shadows in the blink of an eye. I always wondered what it would be like to sail on such a sea. Is that you? Yep. 
It's me in the picture. This damn PBR crew in the Delta. It must have been exciting, fighting in a war. Exciting? Yes. We fought. Some died. Others lived. And some of us never stopped fighting. I don't understand. Robbie, I hope you never do. Fighting never resolved anything. Look, Nigel is the only son. This belongs in our family line. Well, I'm the oldest, and Dad promised me that I could have the silverware. Right, Terry? Terry! What? Now hand it over. I will do no such thing. Do you really want to do this right now, Faith? That's enough, you two! This all belongs to the captain. All of it. You have the right to touch it, take it, or use it at all, you hear? Robbie, what have we discussed about talking to adults that way? Robbie, we're dividing your grandfather's things the way we think he would have wanted. And he wanted me to have the silverware. Like yeah. hell. This belongs in our family. Stop it, all of you. Stop fighting. I'll go talk to him. No, I'll go. Robbie, you in here, son? They're killing the captain. They're taking all of his things. They're killing him bit by bit. And soon he'll be all gone. It's not fair. Did I ever tell you what it was like growing up with the captain? I bet you'd imagine it was a lot of fun. Great stories, sailing journeys, exotic items brought home from foreign lands. But it wasn't. But why? He was always gone. He was always sailing. Somewhere. Grandma, Aunt Sharon and I were left alone. By the time I retired from the sea, I was in college. I was already grown up. We were, we were strangers. What happened? Well, well, when you were born, the captain came to the hospital. He looked down at your little face and he said, there is a fine young man of strong heart and great spirit. <laughs> well, as you grew up, you and I got to know each other again. And we were talking on the pipe porch about Grandma, but mostly it was about you. And then when you went off to boarding school last year, he was heartbroken. Oh, but he couldn't wait for the holidays. Get to have more adventures together. When those of us that are left behind have to deal with their belongings, it's a form of grieving. He left this just for you. Now, I don't know what's in it, but he said this contained his most valued possessions, just to you. Son, I don't want you to go back to boarding school next year. Your mom's not gonna like this, but I think it's time for the sons of the captain to get to know each other. What do you say?
I'll leave you to it. Of all the things you find in this chest, only one will endure my passing. It has survived many sea crossings, storms, and gales. It has prevailed under fire and lent comfort when I was hurt or alone. This book contains the words of God and can navigate you to salvation through our sovereign Lord, Jesus Christ. It is for this reason I can write these words to you without despair. I shall die, but I shall also live on. This book is my most treasured possession. I now pass it on to you. The remaining items in my old traveling chest are significant only to those who truly understand what I am. I am a navigator. I am a soldier. I am a disciple of Christ. I am also your grandfather and friend.